okay let us see that uh, a new chapter okay that is a php where uh, you can say that um, php is a hypertext preprocessor the uh, expansion of that php is so here this uh, php is a server side scripting language it is going to be so it is going to work like a programming language where it is going to run in the server side even it runs in the client side also but uh, preferably that is going to be used for the uh, client uh, server side programming language okay. how this is going to be developed and all these things so how that uh, uh, server is going to work so all these things that let us learn with the concepts with the uh, server side development okay now what is exactly the server side development is so when we will be going to say that uh, the server side first of all we should know that what is client side so client and server are the two distinct locations we can say then a simple example if i am going to take the google uh, search engine okay so in the google so we'll be going to search the data from the client side but that selected uh, data whether it is going to be available in one particular server or different servers we don't know exactly so it goes and searches in that particular google server then after if it is going to be available over there it is going to send the data if it is not again that is going to request to another server okay so like this it is going to fetch the different from the different servers the data and it is going to give the urls to us so we will be not knowing from exactly from which server that we have been received this one so when again we will be going to pick that uh, url then it goes to the that particular server which from where that it has been picking okay so like this the data is going to be traversed between the client and the server when we will be going to write that particular code that is nothing but a search engine okay uh, that it is going to search so for that only the programming is been written what so when we write that particular thing when we request the request http is going to be there that it takes all the data to the server the server what it does that also it is going to have one program which is going to search in that particular databases and able to see that over here okay so it is going to search in those databases and if it is going to find in that it is going to returns if it is not it is going to search in the other databases okay in the client side okay in that case it is going to work only in the desktop or we can say the laptops it means to so that in the same location that it is going to search your uh, <coughs> data is going to be there in the uh, laptop itself okay the client is going to be there the program is going to be there in the that uh, um, forms and that particular form is going to get executed if any errors are going to be there in that that those things are going to be corrected by using the uh, javascript itself so once that javascript is going to be get executed in that you will come to know that any errors are going to be present in that till that time you will be not okay so uh, here in the example that it is going to be shown here is that uh, a client is going to be getting requested to the web server with this uh, one particular program okay request for javascript source file this file is requested here then that script is going to generate and it is going to send that particular data to the client so here only the data is going to be there and it is going to send to the browser and the browser is going to be seen so this is what it is going to happen in the client side scripting but in the case of uh, server side the data is going to be requested to the web server php and php server is going to check it is going to validate it is going to um, verify that whether it is going to be available in this if it is going to be available then it is going to send that particular output if it is not again that it is going to do another task so if it is going to find in this then it is going to send the output and uh, from the browser that they can able to see it so there are four operations that it is going to be done in this one is you are requesting browser uh, server is going to process that going to return to the uh, client again and it is going to be get displayed on the screen to all these things we need services scripting resources ok 
okay. the database is there web services are there files will be there emails will be there other softwares are going to be there so these things are going to be collectively that it is going to be present and uh, uh, whatever the request that will be going to make it based on the request these things are getting getting executed over there and we will going to get the output back to the your screen the basic hosting of your file is going to be achieved by the web server in the server side development uh, it is nothing but a hosting concept means it is your file is going to be posted in the server so it involves use of the programming technology like uh, php or uh, an asp.net uh, programming to create the script that dynamically generate the content so automatically once the request goes all the programming concept that it is going to take place and finally you will be going to receive the output okay this is what uh, it is going to be done in the server side development there are so many technologies going to be used in this now you can see here one thing that two parts are there in this one is uh, by using the get method and asp.net is there another uh, point is that uh, php is there okay php is there so just see that here once uh, the request comes from this uh, server okay, client we can say uh, it goes to this web server and uh, the file is going to be seen and that is getting that is getting executed over here what happens basically the program outputs over here that program is going to be given back to the uh, client okay, by using the HTTP request okay. so the response is going to be given back to the uh, client okay. first is the get method that is going to use then after the uh, web server that is going to be get executed over there it is going to verify that that particular file is going to be there or not based on that particular file that it is going to be get posted over there okay and then after it goes back to the uh, client so two process is going to be done in this here what happens uh, in the php directly the it goes to the web server and uh, it executes that particular program and directly it gives the output over here and goes back to the HTTP. it is nothing but the <coughs> when you're going to use uh, uh, other scripting languages is going to be different okay this is going to be different that is php is different from asp.net okay. there are uh, asp.net is nothing but active server pages are there asp.net is there perl is there dgi php python ruby and rails all these are server side programming languages there are different types of programming languages it is going to be okay so any one of these things that we can able to use as a server side scripting language now we are using php over here what is the responsibility of the server okay so server is there means what is its responsibility that we should consider in this so what are the responsibilities of server http request response these things that you should handle mainly so it is going to the responsibility of the web server is handling the http connections request response responding to request for the static and dynamic resources static page is also going to be there dynamic page is also going to be there those things that you should respond managing the permissions and access for certain resources some things will be hidden some things will be public so hidden area that you, anyone wants to access that is not going to be possible you have to make that it is a reserved one okay you should not give the access to that then uh, encrypting and uh, compressing the data yes this is a very very important thing the communication between um, the server to server or client to server it should be encrypted over there otherwise the data is going to be lost or you will be going to is a is post to the uh, what we can say um, hacking okay so the data is going to be leaked sometimes that it is going to happen so to avoid that you should encrypt the data and uh, you should compress the data also because more number of information if it is going to be there it is very difficult so you have to compress that because memory is one of the important concept over here uh, 